YouTube, what's going on? Today is the day. It is launch day. Oh man, it's launch day. It's supposed to be on Halloween, the SpaceX Crew-1 launch, but unfortunately they scrubbed that till yesterday, November 14th, and they scrubbed yesterday to today, which is November 15th on Sunday. And it's a 50-50 shot on the weather condition, being favorable. I got about a 180 mile trek. I'm so excited. I've been always wanting to go to a SpaceX launch, so it's going off at 7.30 at night, so we're gonna have some really, really sick night views. Oh, guys, welcome back to another episode. Mr. Make It Happen, Mr. Joey Boombots. All right, fellas and ladies, take you guys with me. Phew. Oh, my God, cardboard. Ah. Driving on I-95 is like driving on, I don't know, the Autobahn, at least this far down Florida. There's like six lanes, there's traffic cones everywhere, there's debris. There's a lot going on. Oh my god, there's somebody's whole bumper. Yo, I wish I had a GoPro like sitting right here, cause like, I know yeah, we're on the road. I got 36 miles until I get my boy Anthony. All the way from the hometown of Deer Park. I'm excited, it's gonna be cool, it's gonna be a cool experience. I'm I just like been waiting for this, like been waiting to get out of my house to go do something for for once. Like during all COVID, like they obviously still did launches, but no one was allowed to view them until recently. Open the <laughs> put your thumb in and open the handle. There you go. Are we outside today? What's good, bro? What's up, bro? Long time no fucking see, dude. Yeah, you know I had an issue getting the getting the door open. <laughs> you know it's gonna Dude, everyone, I have to teach everybody who gets in this car how to open a door. I'm like, just put everything bro. I know, it's been too long. It has been too long. It's amazing, though. This old... So, are you hungry or no? Mm, I can eat. You can eat? All right. You ever been to Bole? Yeah. All right, you're trying to go to Bole? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, we could hit Bole, but there's um, definitely try Anzo. Okay. Very good. Very Is very it like good. the same kind of Chipotle style setup? Same, where it's like. Yep. Same thing. It's but it's Yo, more. I'm for that. You know, let me let me build my bowl. Like you know. Yeah, Anzo is top tier, top tier. Damn, this screen is bigger than I thought. <laughs> you can see it from here. Oh yeah, look, I got all my up. Wow, this is nuts. Look at all the people, dude. Yeah. Insane. I think, I think I missed the Kennedy Space Center. I think that's what I'm supposed to go on. I think. Yeah, we missed it. Missed it. I was paying attention. <laughs> I, I, I just put the core. I just put like the. Directions in his Cape Canaveral and put uh, it into wow, like the okay, space center. Yeah, yeah. So I gotta hopefully <laughs> figure it out when we get. Oh, what a freaking day for a launch, dude. It'd be so cool. Yeah, Mark, please. Okay, I'm in the right area. We started not seeing cops, so. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we were. Yeah, the mask on? No, probably not, right? What did I do with my mask? Oof. Oh, you yeah, yeah, ain't got one. Hmm? <laughs> you ain't got one on. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Can you tell me where to get to the North Atlantis lawn? Alright, so you're going to go to the first stoplight, make a left, follow all the way down, you'll see the sign for Visitor Center entrance. Appreciate it, man. All right. Thank you. Dude, up here, the COVID doesn't exist. That's what I was just saying. COVID That's does not exist up here, life. bro. I can't <laughs> believe I just does not exist. Pull up with the no mask. That, that was so insane. <laughs> it's weird saying that, like, because... You know, like oh, about a year ago, you would never think that was weird, but like that's weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so excited, oh, bro. Nah, you think you can feel the heat? You're gonna hear the aftershock. You're gonna hear. You're gonna feel the power for sure. We're only six miles from the, from the pad, so it's got. We gotta definitely feel something. Woo! Look at it, dude. Look how look at the how pink it's getting, dude. Bro, look at it. Sheesh. This is so sick. Bro, look at that, dude. Yeah, it's amazing. They have a lot, a lot of area too, dude. We, we passed the first building, we still need to pass the last. That's Amazon for you. Exploration part. Come on, like, what? Nah, that, that's like red, bro. Uh, right lane, face to finish the complex, okay, right lane. Look at that rocket, dude. First of all, that whole, this whole setup Oh my like god, the rocket! I didn't even see the rocket sitting <laughs> there, bro! Are you kidding? 
Look at that whole setup right here. We're so here right now. Hey, yo, that is a fucking spaceship. <laughs> That's yeah. a fucking spaceship. That is going into space. How are you? Good. How many you got? Two. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Dude. <laughs> 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 So, what T minus, look at the yeah, countdown yeah, I was clock. Say one hour 56. <laughs> Holy crap. Like Universal Studios. <laughs> it really is like Universal Studios. Holy shit. I didn't think it was gonna be like this big. This is so cool. Dude! Yo, let's fucking get it, bro. Yeah. Look at that with the flag. Oh my god, this is awesome, bro. This is so Now we're talking the SpaceX section. Yeah, I just met people who got married at the Space Center. <laughs> Cheers, you guys. Much love. Awesome. I think it's massive, bro. I feel like I'm at Universal, bro. <laughs> Getting goodie bags and stuff. But we'll get some food over there. They got some pulled pork and some pulled chicken. We are part of the Spix X crew launch. <laughs> the family gathered outside the operations and checkout building before they began that roughly 20 minute ride to pad 39A. And what a cool ride that was. You see that building that they just 80% chance of good weather. Uh, Woo! Proceed with arming the crew arm for movement. The arming crew arm. And it looks like the crew access arm has already begun uh, to retract away. Just a beautiful sight. So this is one of the last major visual milestones that we have before launch. So the crew access arm uh, now moving away, and we are T minus 43 minutes and 15 seconds from launch. They're so, really doing this. Uh, simultaneously, the liquid oxygen loading will begin. Or MMH, and nitrogen texoxide, or texoxide for. Texoxide, thank you. Doing. By accepting the invitation to view the launch tonight, you do so with the understanding of the potential risk. Although NASA applies stringent rain safety principles and techniques to protect the general public, the workforce, and property for all areas at the Kennedy Space Center during a launch, in the event of an inadvertent circumstance, hazards including debris, black rocket, and then it goes east, northeast over the ocean so it can catch up to the space station. Now you may look above here, you might at some point, space station has got to cross overhead before the launch. Uh, so, and then this uh, Crew Dragon will eventually catch up to it. So I'm not sure the exact spot of the space station at this time, but typically it goes overhead and then we launch. That's so sick. Next, we will open the pre valves. Currently, the Merlin engines on the first stage are isolated by valves that are between the propellant tanks and with the Merlin engines. We'll open the pre valves. That'll allow us to begin passing a small amount of liquid oxygen. Seconds will enter terminal count, and Dragon's onboard computers will take control of the vehicle. Both fuel on first and second stage. And then once it goes through max Q, re-throttles up and continues to go. Two and a half minutes after the launch, the core stage in... You're going to see Stand a up, buddy. seriously bright orange sky when the engines ignite. So it sounds like Soichi Noguchi said, the vehicle is alive. 25 seconds. Remember the red countdown clock is the correct time. 10 seconds. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go! Let's go!
insane. <laughs> can hear the sonic boom right now. Oh my god! <laughs> there it goes, look! <laughs> Godspeed, gentlemen! back down. Uh, currently on the left side, you can't make out much. Uh, it's a couple hours after sunset in Florida. But the grid fins have deployed on the first stage. The first stage is now uncolored, but with the loss of heat, it. it continues to coast up to an apogee before it begins to descend back into Earth's atmosphere. Now as we watch, maybe we'll see the lights of Florida or the eastern seaboard in the background, but otherwise there's not going to be much to see. Yeah, the momentum of the rocket carries it up further until it reaches a point where it doesn't have any more acceleration, and then it starts coming back to Earth, and that's when it has the it has the grid fins deployed. There's four fins that deploy out to help guide it back, and then three of the Merlin engines are going to ignite to uh, give it the the cushioning uh, to land on the barge. It'll do two main burns. Oh my god. Wish you can see this. Can you see it? There it is. Coming back down to land. <laughs> 